of Halloween Kills was bad. And yes, there's going to be spoilers in the video. Halloween is my favorite horror franchise. The original Halloween was the first horror movie I ever saw, so I was pretty excited going into this one after kind of liking the last one, and then it was just the biggest piece of shit you could imagine. I have liked every Halloween movie except for, you know, the really bad ones. Even Halloween Kills, people were like, eh, the plot was kind of shit, you know? I'm like, dude, it's a horror movie. The plot is survivors try to kill the killer. Like, th that is the plot. I don't care about character development. Sure, in Halloween 2018, there was some of that, and it was it was nice. It was a better overall movie, but as a horror movie, I just want to see people die. That sounds fucked up to say. Let me go over what I liked about the movie first. There was some good uh, prosthetic effects. Halloween ends. Fucking like nobody died, dude. There was like six, ten kills throughout the whole movie, and all of them happened within the last ten minutes. I'm not even exaggerating. If you look up Halloween Kills clips, the first thing that comes up is like a seven minute clip. That is where all the deaths happen, is the last ten minutes. It was a shit show. The first hour of the movie was like a romance between this new character, Corey, and Allison. This Corey character is such a Okay, I got a little carried away, but you get the point. So, the opening scene is this this Cory motherfucker accidentally knocking a kid down a stairwell and killing him. Okay, anyway, he's like the main character of the movie. It's not Laurie Strode, it's not Michael Myers, it's not Allison. It's like it's fucking him. It's literally him. It's so annoying. And um he gets jumped by some kids basically and he uh he falls down to where like homeless people live and Michael Myers yanks him into the sewer and doesn't kill him. He looks into his eyes and then I guess that possesses Corey to uh want to kill people cuz that's what he does. He starts getting all violent and shit and eventually him and Michael um they kill two people. I thought it was going to be like uh, they were going to go off and kill each other as like like a stupid ass team, but they didn't. They showed them kill two people. And um, in between while that was happening, it was a bunch of montages of Corey and Allison uh, at a Halloween party and, you know, boring shit. It was literally a romance for the first hour, hour and a half. Nothing happens until the last. 20 minutes of the movie and even then it's lackluster as fuck the worst part about the movie was michael myers he is in the movie for a grand total of about six fucking minutes no this is not even exaggeration he is not in the movie like at all he is in the movie when he grabs Corey and pulls him into the sewer and looks into his eyes when Corey goes and steals his mask, yes, Michael Myers gets bitched around by this guy that made Michael Myers a fucking pussy in this thing. Fucking whatever. And then at the end, when he goes, he gets his mask back and he fights Laurie. You know, the big, huge fight. And if you watch the trailers, pretty much every trailer is only clips from the last 20 minutes of the movie. They knew that movie was going to be shit. The entire trailer is scenes from the last two minutes of the movie. The huge... Oh my god, the uh, Lori vs. Michael, and fucking I last longer than that goddamn fight. That fight was so goddamn short, it, it can't redeem the movie, dude. It was about a two-minute fight, and it was basic, dude. You know, he slapped her, he threw her around, she ended up stabbing his hand into a, a counter and uh, cutting his throat, and that was it. It was short. It was underwhelming, disappointing, whatever you want to use. Fires from Halloween Kills, you know, bitching around an entire town, uh, the whole mob of people, the firefighters, all that shit. But in this one, he gets out fucking wrestled by a, like a teenager. Like, I don't know how old he is. He can't be any older than like 20 something. And uh, he just gets out wrestled and he allows him to take his mask from him. After, in the last movie, he was cutting up fucking everybody. Oh, and you remember the lady he stabbed in the neck with a light bulb in the last movie? She's fucking alive! So that uh, her sister or something could tell Laurie Strode that it's 
her fault that Michael is out there and, you know, you feel bad for Lori, but you fucking don't. She got stabbed in the neck with a goddamn light bulb. You... Ugh. There's no fucking shot. Like, look at this shit. No fucking way she lives through that shit. I cannot stress enough how just boring this movie was. The kills were, like, okay. They had some decent effects, but... Michael Myers... I don't, he killed two people throughout the whole movie. Out of the, like, eight kills that there were, he killed two of them. All the kills were this fucking Corey guy who took Michael's mask and killed people in it. What? What? If it's the last movie in the franchise, which I actually hope it's not because they got to do something better than this. You introduce a new character to take the fucking spotlight from your franchise star in the last movie... And have him do everything and have him be the main character? What the f- What the fuck? I had to make a video review on it just for sake of variety on the channel. I mean, reacting to things does kind of get old after a while. And just because of how fucking atrocious and disappointing the movie was overall.